It's time for The Breakaway, presented by Frontier Communications. Thank you, Jake. Well, Lawrence, you were born in Kenya to two professional athletes, but people wouldn't guess this probably. They were both volleyball players who played for the Kenyan national team. Mm -hmm. What was that like growing up with two professional athletes as parents? For one, I had to know volleyball. <laughs> I, I, I had to play volleyball. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I knew I was going to be an athlete at some point, so it just just didn't know which one, which sport I was going to pick. So you were choosing between volleyball and football, yeah. soccer here. Yeah. How, when did you make the decision to go with soccer? I think the choice was made for me okay. uh, <laughs> when I got a scholarship to come to the U.S. and play for Missouri Baptist. Uh, that was the moment I knew I was going to play soccer at least for the next four, season, uh, four years. And had you dreamt about going to college before or was this kind of came up and you couldn't pass it down, obviously? <laughs> no, the Kenyan education system is pretty, it's pretty good. I knew uh, with the education I had, I was going to go to university. I just didn't know where it was going to be. Is it going to be in Kenya or somewhere else? Uh, because uh, a couple of my friends already had come to the U.S. So he uh, was there, but that was not my biggest focus then. So what was that like coming over to the U.S.? First time you had ever made the trip out of Kenya, right? Mm -hmm. To the U.S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, coming, uh, we, I first came to the U.S. in, we're in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Mm -hmm. uh, upon got, getting there, I thought, wow, I'm coming to a small town. Because Nairobi is <laughs> a pretty... It's the largest yeah, city in pretty, Kenya. Yeah, and uh, everything was fast there. And then coming here kind of slowed down, so... It was a great surprise for me. I, I enjoyed it, and I've never lo uh, looked back since. And I know that your mom has been able to come over here to watch you play. Your mm -hmm. dad hasn't come to the U.S. yet, not, right? Not, not yet. But you did finally get to play for him when you represented the Kenyan national team in the African qualifiers? Yeah, African Cup of Nations. How qualifiers. much did that mean to you to get to not only play in front of your father, but to do it in your hometown? It was, I mean, every player knows when you get called up to represent your country, it's a great feeling. And for me, uh, my dad is a big soccer fan. So anytime I would tell him I was playing, he's like, I, I don't think you, you know, <laughs> I think I guess this is something with African parents. But uh, he's like, I don't think it's serious, you know, but I, he knew it was serious. So once he saw that, he knew. But, yeah. But then to play in front of him right. gave him that you know, chance to talk about me to his friends and say, you know, that's my kid playing for the national team. And what's it like growing up in Kenya, in Nairobi, or a out, little outside of Nairobi? What's it like as a kid? Uh, it's got its up, uh, ups and downs. Uh, I, I was fortunate, fortunate enough to grow in a, you know, in a middle class family there. And I got to see both sides of, you know, uh, Nairobi, which is the poverty and the not so, right. you know, bad, but I would not trade it for anything. It's made me who I am and how I deal with people, how I relate to things and just everyday life. Uh, it was a perfect experience for me. And is soccer huge there? Is it yes. the soccer. number one? <laughs> <laughs> soccer, Football? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's huge, uh, but we're not known for soccer as much as uh, the long distance uh, running right and as we can see I hated running <laughs> you know but uh, I found uh, I found uh, joy in playing soccer I could play with all my friends you know back then to us it didn't matter it could be 50 on 50 as long as there was a s small space to play we played so it was one of the best experiences I had so known for running, as you said, but mm -hmm. also a unique fact about where you came from in your questionnaire that you did at the beginning of the year. Yeah. I was reading through doing research, mm -hmm. and uh, you said one thing that's unique about your hometown is that the big five animals are all there. What are the big five animals? Uh, let me see if I don't <laughs> mess this up. Uh, the <laughs> elephant. The hot seat. <laughs> elephant. The lion. Lion. The buffalo. Okay, that's three. Uh, the leopard. Mm-hmm. And the, which one's, which one's Brett the four, you said elephant, buffalo, leopard. A lion. Lion. And the rhino. The rhino. You yeah. cannot forget How the can rhino. I forget that, yep. What was one of the best things you saw on a safari? I got to see uh, a lion. <laughs> uh, 
devouring a zebra, actually. Oh, my God. I think I got I'm pictures. dying to see a zebra in person. I, I think I got pictures for those. I don't know if I want to see the, uh, <laughs> the lion eating the zebra, but I'd love to see the safari pictures. Okay, Thank you. you so much for coming on Timbers and 30 Lawrence, and good luck against San Jose. Thank you.